We're in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress 2019. We're here at the Radcom stand. I'm here with Yaron, the CEO. Yaron, good to see you again. See you too. So obviously this show, just like last year, there's a lot of talk about 5G, but now 5G is actually being rolled out by the network operators. What kind of role does Radcom play in the development of 5G? So, you know, we're basically a customer experience management and assurance company. Uh, 5G is going to introduce many new challenges to the operators as they roll out the technology. They need to roll out things that are uh, more uh, fast, you know, very low latency, very high speed. And they want to know that they're rolling that out with the speeds that uh, they're committing to their customers. And then there's the entire world of connected devices, things like automotive. Uh, they want to assure the service that uh, how are the cars connected to the network on the roads. So many, many new dimensions okay. of how this service will work. A lot of challenges for us, lucky for us that uh, probably not, not, not a lot of luck had to do with it, but <laughs> we made the investments. We're already very busy with the 5G, primarily in the US. Uh, they seem to be the early adopters between AT&T, Verizon, some of the others. Uh, rolling this out, helping our existing customers, our potential customers rolling this out with the very advanced uh, capabilities on 5G. Okay. So uh, as the volumes of data grow in the networks, there's a growing realization amongst the operators that they don't actually need to monitor all of the data all of the time. How are you working with the operators to help them to understand this, this quite disruptive view of assurance? So first of all, uh, it's a very interesting question because I would say when you go into an operator, the first thing that they do want to do, the operations people, is monitor everything all of the time, 100% of the time. So, and then uh, once you put the solutions in place, you see that it's not sustaining in the long term. I think all of us know that uh, the networks continue to exponentially grow, and I think we all have seen the predictions and the amount of traffic in the world and the yeah. amount of connected devices as well. So we're coming up with these very advanced uh, capabilities and models of how we can monitor some of the network all, all of the time, and then using AI, machine learning algorithms, identify a brewing problem, a beginning of an issue, and then start to go deep with things like probing on demand, a lot of capabilities that will go deep into the network and help troubleshoot that specific problem. But once that troubleshooting is over, you can basically go to some business as usual. When we look at the capabilities and the, basically the results, the savings that these type of models can bring, it will be a, a, a huge game changer, a disruptor for the way that assurance is done today. And we're getting very, very good feedback from operators as we present this new model. Okay. Operators also realize they need to differentiate themselves with superior customer experience. How is Radcom working with the operators to, to help them achieve that, and why is that important? So, you know, at the end of the day, you see the battlefield of the operators, how uh, they compete among themselves. At the end of the day, the way that they can differentiate between one to another is based on the customer experience. And uh, everybody has similar technologies, everybody has, you know, the, the latest and greatest, but they can really differentiate on their digital experience and the customer experience they provide. And what we do, we, we're focusing on those moments of truth, of understanding where they have issues with their customers. You know, where the, the way that our customer experience man management work, we basically give them key performance indicators for the network at any given time for all their subscribers. Then they can do things like VIP listing, focus on very important subscribers that have maybe a tendency to have issues and things like that. So with the flexible solutions that we have, with the level of depth of going in and understanding what that customer experience for those customers in the network, they can go and see and differentiate themselves. And of course, we can also find the, the issues and help them make sure that they give a superior experience around that. Okay. Now, one of the, the big trends in the industry for the past five or six years has been that the shift towards softwareization and virtualization, and Radcom's been working on this for a number of years. Where are you in that 
in that process uh, and uh, what kind of benefits is that bringing to yourselves and to your customers? Okay. Uh, first of all, I think we're proud to be, we, we believe that we're the most advanced in uh, our specific industry uh, with the virtualization capabilities. We have an ongoing relationship which is public with AT&T. Uh, we've been at it with them from 2016. Right. They've made their uh, plans uh, public on the yep. milestones that they virtualized and they plan by 2020 to finish 75% of the virtualization on that network. And we've been uh, you know, together with them, proactive with them, they've been proactive with us on this entire journey and it's been amazing. So uh, I think today we reach a level that we're starting to understand what we developed. I mean, we developed things that are so advanced that uh, sometimes, you know, you put the architecture in place and you say, yeah, this is one day, this can do this and that, this will automate the deployment. We're reaching a level where every, the cloud native solution, uh, and this is coming from our customers, we can do things like software upgrades in minutes for a carrier the size of AT&T. Right, we wow. can do things like a, a, an entire um, high available network geo-redundant network, things that sound basic but are very, very expensive and very complicated to reach with equipment. All, what, the moment that you're cloud native, all these capabilities and things like that uh, become inherent with the solution and this, these are the things that we've rolled out and we continue to roll out. I think in addition to that, the ability to be very, very flexible, reach a level of doing probing on demand, like I described earlier, right. is a huge, huge game changer. Because again, like we, we said, the future is not about monitoring everything all the time. It's understanding what's happening in the network all the time and then really going deep wherever you need it in a very flexible way. And this is the new model of doing things. Okay. So lots of great developments there that chime with the, the trends that the operators are looking for in the industry. So I'm sure you'll have plenty of visitors finding out uh, what you're up to and we look forward to finding out how 2019's gone. Yeah, we're very busy. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Absolutely, great. You're on, yeah. thank you.